Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is uh, Mr. Phony from the Obtuse Angle. Um, the new Spider-Man wave is being released currently across uh, North America. It's uh, February uh, 2015, and uh, I'd just like to review one of my favorites from the original Spider-Man Classics line. I think this was 20102. Around there when Toy Biz first started creating their uh, great legends type joints. And this figure is so fantastic. It's a really fantastic figure. And it's really big. It's it's incredibly large compared to a normal size legend to be honest with you. It's it, back back then, you know, this was considered a regular figure, you know. Um, now it's called a build a figure. The build a figure from the Winter Soldier wave. This this is just to show you the size difference. I mean, look at this thing. It's it's they're practically the same size, except this costs like eight bucks. Eight bucks back in the day, and uh, <laughs> the Winter Soldier Builder figure uh, it's it didn't cost eight bucks. It's actually a, a Builder figure sized figure, which was originally a regular sized figure back in the Toy Biz days. Isn't that crazy? Just showing you guys the size differential there of uh, how figures have shrank and how the uh, what's considered the Builder figure has also. Uh, Shrank enormously, All right? So I found a uh, a ruler that I always keep next to my bedroom to measure things that are not on me. That's right. This is around eight inches, which is very familiar to me. Um, so that shows you the size. There, yeah. an eight-inch figure was eight bucks back in the day. Now this. This, if you go into a local Target, this is now a figure that costs <laughs> twenty plus. You know, usually Targets in the United States probably around twenty four bucks right now, which is outrageous price. But you know, what can you do but complain? So let's get to the uh, review. Now, this is a, a really good figure. Like I said, lower the articulation, huge size. I'm gonna bring it up close to the camera. Alright, let me adjust the camera height there. There we go. Get a better look. So look at the details of the uh, figure. This is the buzzing beetle. If I didn't mention that before, just clearing the air. There's actually a buzzing beetle released in the Spider-Man 2013 Infinite Wave. But it's ultimate beetle, which is a lot shorter. Um, but anyway... This has one gimmick, but it doesn't really affect the uh, the toy that much. It's where you crank it in the back. Do it shortly. Uh, tons of playability apparently back in the day. And when you crank it, you press this button here, and it uh, hold on, it buzzes. Yes, and it's supposed to light up, but the battery in it because I have a battery in it. It's pretty much dead so I need to replace that if you guys care about that stuff so let's just get to the figure now it comes with these uh, shoulder pads it's actually uh, soft plastic very bendable um, you know this is this is the buzzing beel sorry I edited that out I hope <laughs> it was an accident it just fell over my camera but uh, what was I just showing you the uh, the colors and the sculpting of it uh, look this is kind of like a, a green but it looks like it's heavy gloss. So it looks like, imagine how to put this. It looks like the green is on the thin, a thin layer of glass or something like that. You know, it's very nice. So you see the shine from the lights. Yeah, and this is a beautiful metallic purple. And you can see like the sculpted lines in there, you know, kind of looks like a honeycomb structures. And if you guys can make it on camera, look at the sculpt work. Look at that sculpt work. The amazing sculpt work. This is all sculpted today, toy, toy biz, no, Hasbro today in 2015, they'll paint this purple on, they won't sculpt it on. So you can see the the recess there, you know, it's really nice, look at the sculpted knee pads, incredible. Just incredible engineering, incredible work by toy biz, those guys really love these stuff, man. It has stories about how they would uh, bring actual comic books to, um... 
to some of their uh, sculptors and <laughs> they would say hey this looks really good think you can make this and the sculptors would be like yeah let's try it you know so that's how some of their uh, sculpt work and sculpting uh, took place and happened so let's get to their point of articulation um, like I said this doesn't really light up too well because of the battery but I mean it didn't interfere with the uh, Take it as far down looks. That's, that's practically, I mean, he's practically looking at his junk. You know, that's how amazing that is. And <sighs> go look straight ahead. Can't look up though due to the sculpting in the back there, but that's fine. That's perfectly acceptable. I mean, most times you're looking down anyway. Anyway. Uh, and then let's show you the back uh, with that buzzing feature, right? That's what the back looks like. It has that stupid little gimmick, but that's fine, you know. I mean, what can you do? And back there you can see the battery compartment. Looks like it uses like a the watch battery, a cell battery, whatever it's called. You know. Anyway, look at look, look, look how beautiful it looks in the back. Show you. See how amazing that looks? That's sculpting. Alright. So now I went through the articulation. The arm actually uh, it goes down like that to the side and it goes up like that and it could rotate it, the the rubber pad does interfere a little bit but that's fine you know it's fine it's you get the job done you know like I said you want humanistic movements you know so that's perfect and there you go it does have a uh, it doesn't have an up oh it does have an upper arm rotation I never knew that I had this figure for like 10 years <laughs> look at that upper arm rotation is very nice very very nice and also has like a ratchet elbow joint. <sighs> it bends that much. It's a single jointed elbow, but that's perfectly fine for a big character, especially with this uh, amount of uh, articulation. It's perfect, you know. Um, it has a uh, a wrist swivel there, and it hinges up and down. This was actually had missiles in there. Missiles are somewhere. It's not important, but they uh, just pointed out the were missiles are supposed to be. If you're wondering. So, and best of all, look at this, <laughs> it has like individual finger movement, like that finger moves, that finger moves, that finger moves, uh, the thumb doesn't move though, but I mean, that's fantastic, my figure state don't have that anymore, <laughs> individual finger movement, that's really nice. Um, same thing on the other side, you know, so skip that. It has no app crunch, unfortunately, but you know, what can you do? It's a, uh, you know, what can you do? You know, it's, it's a perfect example of a figure this size. It doesn't affect playability, I think, all too much. Uh, the waist does, you know, turn 360 if you want it. Now, this way it gets a little tricky, right? It's, it's it has those, uh, I think it's a, it looks like a Y joint, I'm not sure there. But basically, it kicks to the side, really, you know. It can't really kick straight ahead, but it's fine, you know. I mean, who's going to have him uh, kicking something straight ahead anyway by posing, you know. So you have to twist the ball to get the proper way. Yeah, see that? That's how far it goes. And see when it goes backwards, it kind of moves awkward, so it can't really move straight back. Same thing on the other side. And then <clears throat> the knees are... I think double jointed. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Look at that, look at that range. That's a more than 90 degrees. I would say that's a wow. Yeah, that's really far. You know, that's really nice. It almost brings it to a 45 degree angle. That's pretty incredible for a figure from 2002 or something like that. And it does have an ankle that goes up and down. It doesn't pivot, I totally admire it because of the space, you see a space like this, usually a kid, but I don't, I can't get to it, so probably it doesn't, and next it has like a really nice toe, it actually has two individual toe joints, look at that, that's incredible man, I really love toe joints, I really miss those in action fairies, add to so much posability. So yeah, this is the Buzzing Beal, you know, it's a very nice figure, I would say definitely acquired, and not too pricey actually, if you look on uh, third party sites uh, they're very nicely done it's a very nice looking figure I would recommend you guys definitely pick one up if you can you know for nostalgia purposes if you missed one get one heck I got a second one <laughs> I have like three of these guys 
you know. So uh, take care. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. All right, bye. Stay tuned. I should put pictures at the end of it just to show you uh, more of the uh, the figure and how beautiful it looks.